In this video, we're gonna be going over how to correctly set up your Zoom account so you can record high quality podcasts using Zoom. And then we're gonna go over a better way to record your remote podcast recordings. Let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is open up Zoom. So like that, it's open. Now, if you're on a PC or Mac, find a way to get to your preferences. I'm gonna be using a MacBook here, so go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and click zoom.us. I'm gonna to go to preferences, and now the settings window is going to pop up. And when you're in the settings window, we are first going to go to audio. So now since we're in the audio tab, the first thing you want to check is to make sure that your audio input and output is set up correctly. So if you look at your speaker, make sure that's set to your audio interface or your USB microphone or your computer speakers. And for your microphone, make sure it's set to your U USB microphone or your audio interface. And as you can see for me, I'm selected my audio interface. And I highly do not recommend using your built-in microphone on your computer for your podcast recordings. So let's look at a couple more settings here. Let's go down to suppress background noise. I wish it had an off setting, but it doesn't. So go ahead and select low because you're going to want to apply your own noise gate settings in the post-production process when you're editing your podcast. Next up, we have music and professional audio. So this is gonna be the important part about recording high quality audio in Zoom. Make sure you have this selected show in meeting option to enable original sound. And we want high fidelity music mode selected. The recording is not gonna be as data compressed and so you're gonna have a more full recording sound and it will sound better. I am not gonna select echo cancellation because when you are recording your podcast remotely, it's very important that you and your guest or your co-host are wearing headphones because you do not want your guests or your co-host voice coming out of your speakers and into your microphone and vice versa. And we don't need to select stereo audio because each person on the podcast is talking to one microphone. So we just need a mono file for each recording. So those are all the settings for the audio tab. And next we're gonna go to the recording settings. This is very important, okay? So we are going to want to select record a separate audio file of each participant. Because at the end of the Zoom session, you're going to save your recording. And with this, you're gonna have a separate file for you and your guests. So you'll have two separate files, which is perfect for editing your podcast. You have two separate files that you can manipulate and to make sure that you can use the correct dynamics and equalization to make sure each file sounds great. And you'll also get an audio recording with both of your files combined. So let's see how this works on a Zoom session. So let's get out of settings, go to new meeting. Now you can see here, this is the important part also. Go down here, look at your, this is your microphone. So click this little arrow right here and select microphone. Great, this is my microphone that I'm using. The speaker, uh, since I'm recording this video, it's going to the Telestream capture device and now Let's make sure our video settings are working if you want to use video. And so right now I can just open up my HD cam. Hey guys, look at this quality. I would not recommend using that. You know, get a nice, get a nice webcam with 1080p. Oh. <laughs> okay. So obviously my camera right now is not hooked up to my computer. Just the built in camera is, and I can, I can do that. I can. I can uncover it, sure, why not? I look a little redder, look at that, I don't know. Cool, I look a little sweaty too. Okay, no, okay, enough of that. So what you're going to do is simply hit record. But before you do that, go ahead and turn original sound on. Right here. Recording in progress. Recording in progress, that is great. And so you go through your whole podcast recording. You have a great podcast episode, a great interview, and you do an amazing job as host of your podcast. And what you can do now, you can simply stop the recording. Recording stopped. All right, great. And then you can talk to your guests, your co-host, one-on-one, like have any private conversation. But then as soon as you click end, end meeting for all, 
you're going to have this sign where it says converting meeting into recording. And so go ahead and save this in a location that you can find it. Now let's open up that folder. All right, January 7th, that's the one we just recorded. And now you'll have a folder that says audio record right here. And here you'll have the separate audio file. So if I was connected with someone else, their audio file would be here. So this is my individual audio file. If we go back to the main folder, you'll see here this audio recording will have everyone in the Zoom recording on one file, but you can't manipulate each file individually, but you can if you go here and you select it. So what you wanna do then is take both your audio files and then put it into your digital audio workstation. And of course, I recommend using Adobe Audition for a lot of reasons. You can check out the other videos that explained why I like to use Adobe Audition. Okay, now I was gonna show you an even better way to record your podcast remotely, but we're still gonna be using Zoom. So what you want to do is connect on Zoom like we did before. So let me just pretend like we're doing another little Zoom meeting. Hey, oh yes, 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 perfect. Hey guests, talking to you guests, you're gonna have a guest one-on-one. We're still gonna hit record here. Recording in progress. Nice, but this time, this is gonna be your backup recording, okay? Because I want you to record locally on your computer hard drive or on a audio portable recording device if you have one of those. But the easiest way is to record on your computer. So to do that, there are multiple free programs, but let's just say you're on a Mac right now. So a, an easy program on the Mac is to look up for your QuickTime player. Look at that, QuickTime player. I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna go to file, new audio recording. And you can see that my microphone is working correctly. And if it's not, just click this down arrow and make sure you have the correct microphone selected. You can simply hit record. Okay, now it's recording here. Let's open up our Zoom. Look at this. Hey, Zoom. And it is recording here. So you're recording a backup file on Zoom and you're recording your main local file right here on your QuickTime player. And at the end of the podcast, simply stop the audio recording there and then you stop it here recording stopped you can go ahead and hit end again and meeting for all again it's going to be converting and so what you want to do is save your audio file from the quicktime player as name it wherever you want wherever you want to save it just know where you're saving it and then you're going to have this zoom file as a backup recording and to make it even higher quality ask your guests or your co-host your co-host, your co-host to please record locally on their computer as well. And then at the end of the recording, they'll send you their locally recorded audio file. And then what's great about that is the locally recorded audio file is gonna be full resolution, no data compression, and it's gonna be very high quality. And when you have all the files, just edit your podcast, produce it, upload it, share it with the world, and you're gonna have high quality audio for free. Of course, there's paid, programs out there that will do this for you, but I'm just showing you the free version on how to do it. And of course, you don't have to use QuickTime Player. You could use Adobe Audition. You could use Audacity. You could use any digital audio workstation. And if you're on a PC, you can use your voice recorder app and that'll work just as fine. So now when you record your podcast remotely, I hope that you're able to record it with high quality audio. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to me. I will be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the NCC Audio YouTube channel for more podcast production and editing tips. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you so much. Peace out.